What is up, YouTube, and what is up, Kai Alpha family? It's your boy, Caleb Talks, and welcome back to another video. And as you're watching this, you're probably wondering, Caleb, why are you outside? You're never outside. And my answer to you is, yeah, I actually don't know. I'm actually gonna head inside now. It's actually kind of hot out here. All right, guys, so now that we're inside, let me tell you what's going on. So today, we're going to be cooking and we're going to be making something very unique. It, I call it quarantine cereal. So you're probably wondering, and you've been wondering a lot today, but you know what, that's okay. But you're probably wondering, Caleb, what's the difference between quarantine cereal and regular cereal? Well, let me tell you. So regular cereal, we all know regular cereal. It's a breakfast food that you're just eating to eat. But quarantine cereal? Quarantine cereal? No, that's something different, okay? You see, when you're eating quarantine cereal, you're not trying to go fast. You're not trying to rush out so you can get to work, school, whatever. You're trying to take it slow and enjoy yourself. Treat yourself. And that's what we're going to be doing today. All right guys, so the first step in making your quarantine cereal is you want to get your milk and pour it in the bowl. Sai, what the heck? Did you guys really think I was gonna put milk in my cereal first before the actual, y'all are crazy, okay? I would never do such a thing. All right, first you wanna get your cereal and uh, you're gonna wanna put that in first. Now the cereal I'm using isn't the most optimal cereal, okay guys? It's um... It's some honey bunches of oats, and you know, that's obviously not really sweet enough for a quarantine cereal, but it's, it's what our mom got us. She doesn't really like getting, you know, sugary cereal, so I guess I'll let it slide, but um, you will usually wanna go for something crazy like Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charms, you know, that type of thing, but uh, you know what, this will do for now. All right, so now we are gonna pour out the cereal. Now, um, it could be a little, you know, difficult of a procedure. I mean, I'm a high tier chef making, you know, high tier food. So, you know, it can be difficult for some people, but when you wanna, you obviously wanna just, you know, pour it out, you know, a gentle little pour, give it a little shake, you know what it is, just to get all the cereal you want out and bam, that's a nice bowl of cereal poured in. Now let's move on to the next step. So guys, what makes the quarantine cereal a quarantine cereal is again, you're going for the taste, the pleasure, the enjoyment. So what you need is as much sugar as humanly possible, okay? If you don't get diabetes after eating this, you, you're doing it wrong, okay? So what we're going to grab is just, a, a, just a, a bunch of chocolate chips, and what we're going to do is, we're just gonna, you know, you know dump quite a bit in there, you know? Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll do. And there you go. <laughs> Okay guys, so the next step is we are actually back to the milk. We're actually gonna add the milk this time. So let's 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 go ahead and pour some in. Sigh, did you really think I was gonna use regular milk for this? You guys know I only rock with one type of milk. Yes sir, we got the soy milk, you know what it is. Soy milk is actually 10 times better than a regular milk and it didn't come from a cow's udders. So I mean, there really isn't, there really is no reason you shouldn't use soy milk in your dish. So uh, we're just going to use soy milk and pour it in. Sigh, oh crap. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that, that's good. All right, guys, so the last step, you know, to finish it off, to really add that real treat aspect to it, we're going to add some whipped cream. Um, so yeah, let's just shake it up. And uh, let's go ahead and put it in. And that's how you make quarantine cereal. All right guys, thank you guys for watching the video. I would, you know, give a taste test, but it took so long to record this that um, it's now soggy and not worth eating. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and Kai Alpha, have a good service. Uh, I'll be there, so me, you, you too, Caleb, have a good service. Especially, especially you, Caleb. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, enjoy. 
All right, I actually gotta take all this out because um, they're gonna get mad when all the chocolate chips are gone for my stupid video. So, uh, wait, what are you doing here?